Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video with the Electrical Guide. Today, I want to show you how to terminate ground fault circuit interrupting receptacles, otherwise known as GFCIs. Here we have a reset button, a test button. We have a couple lights on the front. Um, but really, what I want to talk about is the back. See, right here, we have the word line. That means that when you're bringing your wires in from your panel, they will be terminated on the line side, which is this side. Notice the other side has a yellow sticker from the manufacturer. Underneath the sticker, it says the word load, and that's where you would wire things downstream. So just like all our devices, we have here a strip guide that shows us how much wire we want to be stripping. So we're going to use our strip guide to just mark how much we want to strip with our strippers. Now I have here a 14.2 so using the 14 slot on my strippers if you'd like to see a video on how to strip wire please make sure that you click my other video link now that I've stripped my wires here I want to use the top of the circles to just give them a hook shape and I'm gonna do that with all three my ground my neutral and my hot wire here Generally, when we are terminating devices, we want to do them in a standard order. That being the ground first. And you're just going to want to tuck this underneath the screw. Sometimes it wants to fight you a little bit. Like so. And you're going to use your green Robertson, which these screws are designed for. You're going to snug that down so it's nice and tight. Next, you're gonna do your neutral side. Your neutral side is always the big slot or the silver screw. And we wanna make that a hook as well. And we're doing this clockwise. Now, you'll see that I've already loosened this screw. It's hanging down just a little bit so that we can use gravity to help us to tuck this guy underneath like so. And we want it to come in and out. Just a nice clean in and out wrap. We don't want 360 degrees. And when we tighten this clockwise, we're actually just pulling this in for a nice connection. Lastly, we wanna do our hot side, our copper side. And you'll notice again, the screw is sticking out just a little. I've already loosened it. I wanna take our hook. And we just wanna sneak it underneath there like so. Making sure that again, it enters from this side and comes out parallel on the other side. We're gonna keep a bit of pressure on this with our thumb. We're gonna use our green Robertson to tighten it up. Nice and snug. Should look nice and clean like that after. And there you have it. That is how we wire a ground fault circuit interrupting receptacle. Thanks for watching another video with the electrical guide. Please be sure to like and subscribe.